Very distinguished that it took almost two hours to make. We see the guac here. We do not see the judges here. Let's get these judges out here, huh? All right, number one. Rorden Gamzee. Yeah, so like you said, my name is Rorden Gamzee. I'm a very successful restaurant owner. In fact, like very successful. One of the most successful restaurant owners that's ever successful. existed, actually. Um, yeah, very loaded, deep pockets. <laughs> I'm very, very, very successful. I have a restaurant chain called Good Soup. Over 300 now locations worldwide. And because of that, you know, people consider me an expert on guacamole, and of course they're correct. Rorden Gamzee, everybody. Number two, Mrs. Joe Avogadro. Um, is it is it on? Yeah, it's on. Right? Okay, okay. Um, I am uh, Mrs. Joseph <laughs> Avogadro. My husband. <laughs> excuse me. He died. <laughs> All right, that's enough. All right. <laughs> You're done. I love All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Our last and final and fully final judge here. I kind of forgot his name, but it ends with a mariachi. Give a warm welcome to Mr. Mariachi. 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 Band and, and the Mariette. I'm from El Paso, kid. <laughs> that was no doubt so. It was 15 years for Marie-Marie Mar Mar Macron. And I became the president of France. Okay, let's sit down. <laughs> I worked for Emmanuel Macron for 15 years. And he fired me when he became the president of France. And I hate the men. And I'm forced to work for low wages in low-income towns. And now I was gassed up and had to work low-paying cooking jobs. Mr. Sousa, and Mr. Sousa is my five-star chef. Five-star chef should never work so Let's get on with it, shall we? So just how will you tell us what the first guacamole name is on the far left? The one on the left side? <laughs> um, well, in England we read from right to left. <laughs> <laughs> what does it say here? <laughs> Para la matria. Oh. On the left. Oh. On the left. We will have the Paralamentria cook talk about his Paralamentria. Hola, yo soy Paralamentria. <laughs> First of all, I would love to say, Mr. Gamzi, I, I love your work and I just think you're the best chef, celebrity chef. Your food is great. Good soup, good soup. <laughs> Although guacamole is a distinctly Mexican dish, you are all gringos and don't know the difference. <laughs> I will be representing Puerto Rico in this competition. And I hope that the mastery of all things Hispanic, mainly dancing, primarily twerking, will guide me through this crash course in culture. I also happen to be a chef at a five and a half star restaurant <laughs> called Guacamole that only serves guacamole. I hope you enjoy. Second one here, the, the lime and the Yes, the lime mole. I am the southern gentleman, as many of you know. Born and raised in Georgia, I am what some may refer to as a scholarly man. Therefore, you will see that my guacamole is the platonic ideal of what guacamole should be. All right, we are moving on to avocado soup. Go ahead and take it away for us, miss. My name is Lentil Stew, and I come from a family of stew chefs. We would have stew for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, and dessert. But when I was a child, I climbed the kitchen counter and snatched a can of soup from the cupboard. When I put it on the stove, 
I watched the smoke roll off the chick chunky chicken noodle. The sound of the fire alarm rang in my ears, filling my mind like a Mozart concerto. But to my utter dismay, as I lifted the spoonful of the scalded soup to my lips with trembling hands, the bitter flavor of that wretched creation filled my senses. My mouth twisted into a snarl, and disgusted, I cast the offending pan of soup aside. From that moment on, I vowed to create the greatest soup to ever exist. Excuse me, does he need CPR? <laughs> Fast forward 15 years, and I was happily enrolled at one of the top soup schools in the nation, despite my family's disapproval. And as I became more and more advanced in the art of soup making, I began to experiment to push the boundaries of what soup means. For my thesis, I was asked to create a new, innovative, and delicious soup in order to prove all that I had learned. I slaved over it night and day for months, perfecting and re-perfecting and re-perfecting in order to create the greatest soup mankind had ever tasted, only to be told that frosted flakes were not a soup. <laughs> they stripped me of my chef's hat and apron, breaking my ladle over their knees. Then, after dumping my soup, my soup, over my head, they tossed me out into the street, leaving me to die. <laughs> Since then, I've been making a living as a free Antland soup artist, hoping that one day my genius will be recognized. And that is why I'm here today to share with you my avocado soup. <laughs> I'm Dwayne Johnson, also known as The Rock, and today I bring you my creation, Rockamole. As The Rock, I'm always asked, what's the secret to success? But there are no secrets. Be humble, be hungry, specifically for Rockamole. Success isn't always about greatness, it's about consistency. And the consistency of my guac is creamy, light, and smooth, as you are about to experience. Once you've ever been hungry, really hungry, then you'll never ever be full until you've eaten rock and roll. Making guac for me is a metaphor for life, period. The dedication, the determination, the desire, the work ethic, the great successes and the great failures. I take that into life. So I hope you enjoy and find some life lessons along the way. <laughs> All right, and rock is doing our last and final and ultimate. We got the bomb bocado. Here we go, take it away. My guacamole is entitled Bombacado. Having spent 11 and a half years of my short but fruitful life living a mere 30 minutes from the Mexican border, I have studied and perfected the art of guacamole making. Yes. We combine the authenticity of Mexican culture with the ingenuity of American produce to create the ultimate, in fact, the bomb, bomb bocado. Thank you. I would like to ask the French gentleman. What did you draw that mustache yourself? <laughs> that mustache is real, Marie. I hear you speak in French, which I do not. Donne moi ce la ta chemise parce que je veux le détruire. I mean, I speak French, but those are words. Uh, I will meet you out back. <laughs> Commence the submerging in the mouth of the guacamole. No, we are not eating sheep. He means himself. Oh, okay. It's, 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 it's a good block. I would have preferred a little bit more acid, um, a little bit more lemon, a little bit more lime. I do like the texture. It needs some kind of kick to it. It does taste very strongly of avocados, which which I do appreciate because, as we know, um, avocados. <laughs> I, I like the texture. I think the texture is very well done. Give me yeah. one word to respond to the judges from all our chef. Gracias. <laughs> <laughs> spice was much better, the acid was much better. However, it was chunky and unripe avocado. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the, the spice was very nicely done. The level of acidity was very nicely balanced. But again, the texture was not there. It was wanting a little bit more mashing. And I do not like the raw red onions. I do not think the red onions work well. The avocado was very chunky, and this resulted in a flavor that was not evenly spread. It just wasn't a good Texture, I'm sorry. What do you gotta say about that? One word, sir. Taipei. <laughs> 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 
As you were. Right. <laughs> Let's get on to the third one. A la carte soup, everybody. <laughs> Is a little soupy. Um, uh, it was a little bit overwhelming when I'm looking for some wok, you know. Um, so not bad overall. A little bit overwhelming with the tomato. However, saltiness to the lemon slash lime was good. There is too much tomato. I do not object to the tomato being in the guacamole. I think it's a very nice addition. But there is too much of it. I do have to say the texture is a little too creamy, and it almost reminds me of baby food, which is not a particularly appetizing but when you think about it. Thank you very much. Can I get one word from our chef? <clears throat> so, <laughs> a good But not good soup. Oh. I want a bit of tomato. 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 You say tomato. I say tomato. I say tomato. That's my dad. So not always immediately pepper, but it's not a cafe. Yeah. Very well done. I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I'm from England, maybe I can say. He was saying that it is not overpowering, but it is very well done. The level of spice is also different. Well, I would like to add, I do love your tomato ratio in it, but also I would like to have tasted a little bit more of acid, maybe a touch of lemon or a touch of lime. So I think it's very well done. <laughs> the texture was very well done. Um, I really enjoyed the texture. <laughs> Taste the salt, taste the cilantro. Nothing was too overpowering. Well done. Yeah, one word from our chef. <clears throat> I was raised by strong. Just women. one. <laughs> just one word. And that DNA one word. is in my daughter and wife. Yeah. <laughs> we are now on to our ultimate final last. I think that that was probably my favorite as far as the taste goes. That was very, very well done on the taste. Texture, a little bit more um, smooth and watery than I preferred, but pretty close to good. Um, so overall, really good. The usage of the lime was very good. Perfect amount of lime. Not too much, but it was there. It was noticeable. Very well done. As well as the cilantro <laughs> and the tomatoes. Um, this this was a very well done plate of guacamole. You got to say? Thank you very much. Uh, one word. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> we will now. <laughs> Kick the judges out for their little uh, Each guacamole will be tested by the audience. The audience will pick one and only one of their favorite guacamole. This popular vote may bring you from last to first, from second to first, or secure your spot at first. Let's get on with the games. Now the rabble gets to dig in. My bad, my bad. Oh, shoot. No. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry. Ah. We're going to go ahead and get started with the standings. As you all know, the popular vote went to Mr. Matt Burns. The nombre is Mateo. The <laughs> nombre is Travis. <laughs> Mucho gusto, Travis. Yeah. All right. As you all know, there is a winner. The winner will be able to make the guacamole for the next chili night. Chili complimented by Mr. Mariachi's chili. They make it the best chili in the world. Yeah. There's not that many brown sugar in it. I will do top three, no order. Second place, and then first place. The top three in no particular order are Matt, Sophie, and Sophia. In second place, let me get a drum roll, please. And in first place, drum roll please, we have the real Very well done. Congratulations. To the, uh, to the southern gentleman, um, one thought. <laughs> if only your guac were as sophisticated as your accent. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Sofia Bombaro. Congratulations to all the contestants. You may now go home. Thank you for coming to Guac Off.